be thankful in all circumstances. Hi, this is Ken Yates, and I'm with Grace Evangelical Society. I got some good news for you. The Bible tells us we can definitely be thankful in all circumstances. We're celebrating the Thanksgiving holiday, and typically what we do is, as the holiday name suggests, we give thanks. But normally what we think of is we give thanks for the food that we have. We give thanks here in the United States because of all the freedoms we have. And we think of a Norman Rockwell painting where the family is sitting around the table and they have this huge turkey and uh, we give thanks for the plenty that God has poured out upon our nation and upon us. And that's certainly an appropriate thing to do. But what about when we don't have those things? What about when there's not a great big turkey? Or what if there's not plenty? Or what if we have experienced the loss of a loved one or a sickness in the family or the loss of a job or financial security? Can we be thankful in those circumstances as well? The answer to that question is yes, because in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, Paul says, in everything, give thanks. And that's a command. I remember when I was younger, there was a story, and I know many of you have heard of it as well, of the tin booms during World War II. And there's a famous account of this family who were hiding Jews, and they were all taken off into a concentration camp. And there were two sisters, Betsy and Corey. And they had a Bible study. They were able to sneak in a Bible, and uh, in the barracks, uh, they would have a Bible study. But what they would do is they would go in the back because that's where the guards wouldn't see them. But there were a lot of fleas back there. And Betsy famously said, you know, in the Bible, Paul says to give thanks for all things. And so she was giving thanks for the fleas. Uh, but the fleas would bite him. And Corey said, I'm never going to give thanks for the fleas. They found out later that the guards would not come back there because of the fleas, and so they were able to have the Bible study. We hear things like that. We say, is that what Paul means? That we are to give thanks for all things. We are to give thanks for the fleas, like Betsy was saying. And so should we give thanks for the death of a loved one when we lose our job? Man, I'm really glad I lost my job. I'm thankful for that. It reminds me of the fraternity stories when you're initiated into fraternity and you get spanked with a big paddle. And when you get spanked, you say, thank you, sir. May I have another? Uh, but that's not what Paul says. In 1 Thessalonians 5.18, he doesn't say give thanks for all things. In other words, that we should be masochist, but give thanks in all things. And there are three commands that he gives. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing, and in everything give thanks. And they go together. So how can we have joy in the midst of all these things? Well, the answer is because of who we are and because of what Christ has done for us. In the context there in 1 Thessalonians 5, Paul is talking about not just what we do as, as individuals, but what we do as a body of Christ. In verses 14 and 15, for example, he says, caring for one another. And then in verses 19 and 20, he talks about testing all things and as a church, not despising the prophetic word. And so certainly one of the reasons we can have joy and be thankful in all things is because we are part of the body of Christ. We have the privilege of doing his work in this world in which we live. But also, as Paul says in 1 Thessalonians 4 and 5, he's coming again. The rapture of the church is coming, and we're going to be with him, and his glorious kingdom is coming. And even in difficulties, those things are true. In, in 1 Thessalonians 2, Paul says that they are suffering, but we understand that because he's coming and because his kingdom is coming, that these difficulties that we go through are passing away. They're temporary. And even when we mourn, as Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount, blessed are those who are mourned because Christ is even using those things to get us to focus upon his soon return and his coming. 
So indeed, we should pray without ceasing that God would remind us of these things as we go through these difficulties. And yes, in everything, in every circumstance, we can be thankful people because we are the body of Christ. He's coming again and his kingdom is soon to come upon this earth. When we celebrate Thanksgiving, it is certainly appropriate that we give thanks for all these blessings that we have been given. But let's not forget, we should also be thankful in all our circumstances. If you like what you've seen, press the red button at the bottom, subscribe, and you'll be notified when we have other uh, videos that you might find helpful as well. And remember, as Paul says in 1 Thessalonians 5, focus on Christ.